welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are back with another Black Friday haul. This haul comes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They were having a sale. I don't know how I ended up on that website because I've never ordered anything from them. The only thing I think I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a white eyeshadow primer like that white based eyeshadow primer that's the only thing i think i have from them so let's jump it's gonna be real quick i didn't get a whole lot but i got some stuff so the shipping was fast it i ordered it black friday of course and then it came like four days later so shipping was fast Okay, first up, the first thing I got was a lip liner, and this is in the shade Malt. A lot of their stuff was sold out, so I guess it's still a popular makeup site. Y'all know this is a brown lip liner. <laughs> like, how many brown lip liners do I need? Oh, this feels like a number two pencil. It looks like a number two pencil, and it feels like a number two pencil. So let's see what the color look like, because that's all that really matters to us is how the color looks. It's a pretty brown. It's a pretty brown. Y'all see it? That's a pretty brown. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty brown. I know y'all like, Nana, brown is brown, but sometimes it's a difference. Like, guess you can have a brown that just looks off and doesn't really go with the scheme of things. That's nice. I like that. Next up, I picked up a liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. And I'm quite sure it's a new shade, knowing me. But that's how it looks, so it's a new shade. So, yeah <laughs> it's kind of like a brown pink now, what would they call this like a rosy pink shade or whatever I'm gonna swatch it right next to yeah it's more brown than it's more brown than new guys if you can see that's a perfect combination for me y'all know I love those colors those color nudes so yeah Next up, I picked up a lipstick, a matte lipstick. I don't know what's been with me lately, but I've been really into lip products. And then it looks like this. I've been like really into lip products. I jump from thing to thing. I know, it's cute. Okay. I love when brands make like old school. It doesn't, uh, it's not a magnet, but it does snap. Like old school lip products you know let's see this color mm. oh this is pretty see that brown it's like a pale brown let's see yes 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 oh that's pretty now i will wear this alone i could wear that alone that's pretty it's kind of like a rosy brown that's pretty like how many browns could I possibly use? But we're gonna use them all. Next up is something that I have never tried, but always wanted to. Fix my hair. But always wanted to. And it's the Soft Glam palette. Only because this was like the neutral palette of their collections and whatnot. So let's see. Yeah, I know the packaging velvet. This is really old, but new to me. So, yeah, I always wanted to try this palette. Everyone, oh, the brush. I love their brushes, too. I did have the Modern Renaissance palette, now that I remember, but I think I threw that away because it was so old. But um, I see a lot of people say how good this palette is, especially for everyday use. So I wanted to give it a try. No particular shade in here, like really, really like caught my eye, but I figure an everyday palette. So I'm going to swatch this rose pink shade. Only this palette is like, oh, y'all have seen this palette like before, so it wouldn't be anything. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the pigment. Hmm. Okay, so this will be one of my everyday palettes. I'm going to use that for everyday. And especially the brush. I love the brushes. I done messed up the palette already. Got some makeup on it. That's fine. As long as what's inside of it works, we're good. Next up is another palette. And it is the Norvina Volume 3. A couple of months ago, I picked up the minis from TJ Maxx. They were like $12.99. And I was so impressed with the pigments. So when I went on their site and I saw that these were however much they were on sale, I'm like, oh, I'll get that because they, I was the pigments of those palettes were so good. This palette is huge and heavy. Okay. Huge, huge and heavy. This, ooh. This reminds me of Carnival. And the mirror is so big. Let me cover it up so I don't blind y'all. But these, these aren't new either. But y'all see those colors? We are in carnival heaven. I don't even know how to do eyeshadow like that to blend colors and all of that. But this right here is beautiful. Wow. I'm going to swatch this lime green. Mm. I'm going to swatch the green green. Mmm. I'm going to swatch the orange. Mm. And one more. Let's swatch the... Uh, let me do a glitter shade. It's purple. Wow. That's all I got to say is a wow. Y'all see that? And I know y'all have seen this palette because... Ooh. Because it's not new. Ooh. I don't have nowhere to put the swatches. The glitter shade is fire. Y'all see it? With the white base, I imagine that these are going to pop like really, really, really good. Okay. And, don't get, and they have some brown shades in there. If I didn't want to go like, you know, too crazy with the eyeshadows. They got a brown shade in there that I can... Uh, use or whatever that's good for a transition color i hate when like palettes come with like all pastel or all kind of colors and they don't have a transition color in there i at least think they should always put a transition color in there so one more thing is another eyeshadow palette they wrap the packaging really well as you can see this will be a really quick video so it's another novena palette and this is in volume one. These things are heavy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. Purple is beautiful. Mm. Now these, where that color was with the bright colors and like very vibrant colors. To me, this is a darker, let me cover the mirror. This is a darker palette. Still, the colors are beautiful. More purple base, which I love purple. I'm a lover of purple, so that's fine by me, but still a beautiful palette. I wanna swatch, now I gotta get a makeup. Let me get a makeup wipe and wipe these swatches off my hand. Okay, so you know we should probably swatch the purples that I know. I want to swatch this blue shade. It has some glitter in it. Then a purple blue shade. Mm, 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 mm. Then I want to swatch the matte violet. Okay, and one more for the road. One that's not really a... Uh, I'm going to swatch this lilac. How beautiful are they? How beautiful is this, y'all? That blue. And you can't really, don't, 
Oh, that's pretty. Don't base your decision to get a eyeshadow palette based on swatches because you know you're going to put down the base, you're going to pack it on and all of that good stuff. So never base your uh, decision on how it swatches. So there you go. I love the second, this one. I love that one. That one is beautiful to me. I could just use that one color and be done. And be done. These are, these are pretty. I'm going to swatch the hot pink. Let me wipe my hand. I'm going to swatch the hot pink right quick and then we'll be done. Only because hot pink on dark skin can be really, really tricky. Can be really tricky. But this one isn't tricky at all. There you go. Hot pink in the building. Ready to show out. Ready to show out. Yes. So that is everything I purchased from Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you have something from them. Oh, I do have. I have their foundation. Now that I think of it, I have their foundation. And I really do enjoy it. It took me forever to get it. It took me forever to get that foundation. Like, I would never pick it up. And then one day, I think it went on sale. So, I um, purchased it. And I absolutely love that foundation. That's a really good foundation. I need to do a look with one of these palettes and use that foundation, too. But, yeah, this is beautiful. I love this one. I love this one. Yeah. So, that is everything. If you enjoyed today's quick haul, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.